All right, YouTubers. Um, I, I really wanted to share this video for anybody who is having a, an, an Audi 2.0 or maybe a GTI or a Volkswagen Passat, any one of the 2.0 Ts that are of the FSI generation. Um, now, there, the issue is this startup rattle, and there's even an Audi bulletin that says that this is acceptable after a certain amount of life in the car. Um, and I found this interesting because people were like, well, it didn't do it when it was brand new. Why would it do it now? Now, on mine, it was a pretty deep rattle. Like, when I first bought the car, I thought maybe it was a motor mount. I'll fix it. No problem. This is easy money. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it didn't turn out to be that. And the more I researched, they would say that the VVT would rattle or oil would back down on the cam chain tensioner. And if the spring got weak, it wouldn't pre-tension the chain. Um, and I'd noticed that when you do an oil change, when the oil filter was empty, it would, or you let the car sit a long time, it rattled really, really bad. So I kind of knew it in the back of my mind that this was definitely an oil pressure issue. Now, I had a couple of leaks. I had found that oil was leaking into my turbo tubes real bad so I replaced the turbo and I had another oil leak and I was like god dang it this really sucks well I'm actually glad I had this oil leak um, because I replaced the oil filter housing which was leaking up against the block after time the gasket gets weak they warp um, and you, you, you replace the oil filter housing well, once I replaced the oil filter housing, my car, when I shut it off, isn't rattling the way it used to. And I'm gonna show you why. This is my theory, okay? Here is the oil filter housing assembly. Okay, the oil cooler mounts on this side, this side mounts to the engine, okay? now. There's these ports, okay, and uh, these check valves. This spring is really firm on this one. Not so firm here on, on this one. Really weak. And on this one, really weak, okay. Replacing this took away that horrible rattle on startup. Well, what I think is happening is, is when you shut the car off, those springs have gotten so weak over time with hot oil and tons of miles or whatever. I mean, this thing says it has 130 on it. Um, and I, if you're having this issue, you've replaced your cam tensioner, cam chain, VVT, and you still have this like priming problem it is probably a good possibility those springs have gotten weak in your oil filter housing i hope this helps anybody who might be having this issue and just can't figure it out and i want to thank you guys i'm really surprised there wasn't more on the internet about this all right guys good luck